What we have here and what I'm going to show is how we can do IoT integration into Dynamics SL using Catalina's API for Dynamics SL and some other IoT tools. So first, what I'm going to do is, is show how we can have an event that, that comes from a, uh, some kind of sensor device and it'll, it's going to trigger a service call entry. Now, we can do anything we want. In this case, we're just going to do a service call entry, but we can use any one of Catalina's APIs to integrate with SL. We could also uh, create service calls in other systems as well, whether it's Salesforce or CRM or uh, some other type of help desk system. So what I'm going to first show is how we've got some service calls already in SL and there's only three of them in there. So what I'll do now is I'm going to just bring up a, uh, a command line that I'm gonna show how I can just simulate a, um, a, a sensor device. So basically what I've got is what a sensor device would normally send out, and this would be any type of a microcontroller or single board computer or anything like that. And I'm going to have it send out a temperature. So usually this would happen from a device and it'll go through a gateway out to a queue, uh, either on Azure or AWS or whatever queue you want. And then we have uh, tools that'll sit there and listen to it and rules-based route that information to where it's supposed to be. And in this case, we're gonna create a service call on Dynamics SL. So I'm just gonna go and hit enter. And that's basically all it takes. And if I go into SL, you can see now I have a service call, and it can it shows that it's uh, it's been assigned to equipment based on what the key was that came across. It's been assigned to a user, and we've got some notes in here for service call that shows that we had a temperature over 35. And if you looked at my call here, I sent a temperature of 35 which is over the threshold so let me show you what how we got to this point and we'll go from there so let me bring up my tool and you can see also um, that a in my dashboard I've I'm showing that as well and you can see I've been playing around with it with a little bit of temperatures but let me go to my rule chain and what this is, is that this is all the rules that were used to go ahead and route this. It looks kind of complicated, but it's not really. Um, where we're taking device profile, which is it looked at that key that came across in the, uh, the call from the sensor device, figures out what, what device it is, what, cu what customer, what location, all that great information, and looks that up from a local database. Um, it also will go ahead and figure out what kind of message is coming in. And in this case, we ca only care about posting of telemetry, which is gonna be that, that temperature information that came across. And I'm doing some logging up here, so um, I'm saving the temperature so that I can use it for later. But I wanna go ahead and do a simple check. So I've got a script in here, and if I click on that, I'm just going and saying, I only want to care about temperatures that are greater than 20 degrees centigrade. Anything 20 degrees or below, I don't care. Uh, now, we could do this in Fahrenheit, don't worry about it, um, but in this case, I'm doing centigrade. Um, so if that is true, then I'll go on to the next step. If it's false, I'm just gonna go ahead and log it and say, hey, we didn't have to deal with it. Um, Next is uh, we're getting customer attributes. So now um, the cast customer attributes are basically um, encoded information that's tied to the customer. And this is gonna be, we've, we've got uh, our Catalina API authorization, site ID, company ID. So if you use our API already, API already uh, you'll know what this is. And this data, this, this key right here is stored encrypted against the customer so that we can use it without having to hard code that in any of these scripts. The next step is now I need to go and transform the, uh, the data that's coming from the device to something that our API can understand. So I'm gonna just take a look at that. 
and I'm just taking that information and in here I've got some default information that I've put in here but we could take that all from uh, database keys but you can see here um, like the equipment ID I'm grabbing metadata um, with the device name so that um, I'll be able to embed that device name into uh, the message when we go and send it to SL so that SL will then go and say, oh, it's for this piece of equipment. Same way with the temperature, I'm capturing that. Now we can capture all kinds of telemetry information that could be coming from these devices, whether it's temperature, bar barometric pressure, uh, flooding events, uh, say you're HVAC and you wanna go and and test for vibrations um, so that you can act quickly uh, if your customer is having a problem. So anyway, I've gone ahead and I've um, formatted this data into a format that the Catalina API understands from the, uh, the device. And then I'm going to, um, if I can't script that out, I'm going to fail uh, and I'm going to log no matter what. I just want to go ahead and put something to a log file. But if I do succeed, then I'm gonna make an, a RESTful API call to Catalina's API. So if I go ahead and click on that, we'll see uh, the information here that um, that is required for Catalina's API to operate. So we're gonna be calling um, a, the service dispatch service call. I'm gonna go and quick switch to another screen, screen real quick. And if you look at this, this is uh, our API and we'll just come down here and then this is the service call and this looks very similar to what that formatting was where we went and replaced some values. Um, so let me go back to my rules and we'll go down further and you can see now I'm putting in those authorizations and site IDs and all that stuff so that way I don't have to embed any kind of keys in this um, it's all stored in the database somewhere uh, encrypted so that way I can easily go ahead and make a call to the API now once that API is called uh, if it succeeds or fails I'm going to log no matter what but then if it succeeds then what I want to be able to do is then transform what's coming back from Catalina's API into a format that I can then show on a dashboard. So I can see here, um, I'm taking um, what's coming back from Catalina API for service call ID, and I'm putting that there. I'm putting in the customer ID, so if we look up the customer, we'll be able to find that customer and then be able to bring that back. Uh, if we've assigned an employee, we can do that and whatever type of notes. And we can also keep this getting updated as well so that if somebody is manning a, uh, uh, a dashboard, they'll be able to see what, what's going on. So let me go back to my dashboard because that's really all there is to it. Then, then after I go ahead and do the script, then I'm gonna save um, the telemetry information back into the database um, with, with that uh, Dynamics SL data so we can combine the device data with whatever's coming back from Dynamics SL and then be able to go and display it. So now let me go back to my dashboard and uh, I've got several devices here. So let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and run another one. Now this is very simple logic. We can make this as complicated as needed. Um, let me go ahead and just rerun that, uh, that one. It's going to be for 35 uh, degrees and you can see it just shows up like that um, so we're capturing that we've got historical data and all that type of thing so that at a glance you can see oh we've we've had an event that's happened and we're now looking at it on a dashboard uh, let me go ahead and show another um, uh, another device I'll bring another command over for a different device ID um, and we'll let me click on that first you can see that there's nothing there right now and let me click on here and it should create one there it is for 50 uh, 50 degrees on this device so when I go back to Dynamics SL and I look I have several more that have been created so now I've got this one here 
that um, that was uh, created, and I can show you here notes. Oh, that's a flooding event. Um, oh, that's the that's an old one. Um, okay, so five five twenty eight. Um, so here we can see this one notes. It went thirty five degrees. Um, we can see this other one for a different device that came in. And you can see that's the equipment ID here and uh, notes. So, you know, it, it, it looks complicated, it looks simple, but what it does show is that we can do very complex rules and then route data to the appropriate place, whether it's Dynamics SL's API that Catalina makes or whether we route it to um, some kind of help desk or field service system. Uh, we could also send SMS messages or pretty much whatever you need. So anyway, hopefully this gives you a little bit of idea of what you can do with Catalina's API, uh, in particular with uh, the Internet of Things, or as we all like to say, the IoT. Uh, thanks a lot. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact us at sales at catalinatechnology.com. And you can check out our website, www.catalinatechnology.com, and our blog, which has all kinds of stuff, at blog.catalinatechnology.com. Thanks a lot.